You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Journalism in the Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys the support and care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the constant follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. As the Bahraini press witnesses tangible steps and achievements in terms of consolidating and respecting media and journalistic rights and freedoms under the state of institutions and the law. The fourth estate in Bahrain has achieved a leap in the field of press freedom during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, where freedom of opinion and expression is one of the most important gains of the democratic experience in the Kingdom. In light of the provision of constitutional and legal guarantees to protect the rights of journalists and media professionals and to express their opinions safely and independently, the royal patronage for the freedom of the press and the media in the Kingdom of Bahrain constituted a shining beacon to the National Action March in light of the continuous assurances from His Majesty the King on the importance of the role of the press in supporting the reform project and the process of construction and development in the nation's march. His Majesty's designation of a day for the Bahraini press constitutes a consolidation of Bahrain position on the Arab and international media map and an appreciation of the contributions of columnists and journalists in serving society and preserving its development and civilizational gains. The Prime Minister's award for journalism also comes as an important tributary to celebrate the campaign of enlightenment, awareness and intellectual creativity of written, print, audio, visual and electronic media. Bahraini Press is continuing to perform its noble mission by providing constitutional and legal protection for the freedom of opinion and expression within the framework of a well-established vision in support of free and honest speech and intellectual creativity in accordance to the reform project of His Majesty the King. As part of the keen interest of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to increase interest in the training program to rehab children with autism and is supervised by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, a joint meeting was held between the Bahraini and Jordanian federations via the Zoom application in the Jordanian capital, Amman, with the participation of the President of the Royal Jordanian Equestrian Federation, Princess Alia bint Al Hussein, who praised the prominent role played by His Highness Sheikh Nasser by launching many programs and signing memoranda, especially especially with the Zayed Higher Organization for People of Determination in the UAE, which aims to achieve constructive cooperation in the field of humanitarian work and rehab of children with autism, which has received great attention in the Arab world. Her Highness Princess Alia bint al Hussein stressed that the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser confirms His Highness's humanitarian interest in the kingdom, wishing that the Royal Federation would continue this prominent role it's playing. Her Royal Highness Princess Alia bint al Hussein reviewed many experiences of children with autism and welcomed the idea of signing memoranda of understanding between the Kingdom and the Hashemid Kingdom of Jordan during the coming period. For his part, the director of the Royal Team for Endurance, Dr. Khalid Ahmed Hassan, conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid and the President of the Royal Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah al Khalifa, to Her Highness, praising the prominent role played by Her Highness in the rehab and refinement of children suffering from autism through treating them with horse sports. At the end of the video meeting, the gift of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa was presented to Her Highness Princess Ali bin Al Hussein and presented by Dr. Khalid Ahmed Hassan and received by the Secretary of the Royal Jordanian Equestrian Federation. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad along with the President of the Bahrain Paralympic Committee, Sheikh Mohammed bin Da'i al-Khalifa, participated with a group of Bahraini youth in the sailing program organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in cooperation with al Shira Club. The program began with a training workshop to teach the participants the basics and principles of sailing and the nature of the team's work tasks and cruises. al muayyad shared with the participants some general directions about sailing and the repercussions of the sport on leadership skills and practical life. This sports program was launched in accordance with the precautionary measures and those vaccinated were accepted into the program. The National Institution for Human Rights participated in the virtual seminar launched by the Public Prosecution on Civil Society Contributions to Achieving the Best Interests of Child and Alternative Punishments. Under the patronage of the Attorney General, Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buainin with the participation of representatives from a number of ministries and civil society organizations. Board of Commissioners of the National Institution for Human Rights member Dr. Bedr Mohamed Adil expressed the institution's appreciation for the tireless work carried out by the Judiciary and the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to promote and protect the human rights system in the Kingdom, especially with the introduction of the most prominent and latest legislative systems in the field of restorative justice for children, as it is regarded as law that takes into account the best interests of child at all stages 
of the criminal case. Bahrain expressed full support to Egypt and Sudan in their legitimate right to the waters of the Nile River, backing the two countries' efforts to protect their water security and preserve the interests of their people. The foreign ministry called on the international community to intensify efforts to reach a just settlement to the issue, filling and operating the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam through adherence to the international law and direct dialogue between the three countries in a manner that would achieve the common interests of all sides and maintain peace, security and stability in East Africa. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,081,364 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,013,728 had taken the second, and 78,265 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,423 with 232 recoveries, 122 registered new cases and 4 new deaths. 68 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 48 were contacts of active cases and 6 were travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.